And you? Sure. Thanks a lot. Uh, Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. I wanted to know just more specifically how the money is actually going to be spent. Is it, are these UN agencies that are going to be run, running programs or are going to work with government, like prosecutor's office, like you were saying how something should be a crime? How is the, you know, just more specifics in terms, in terms of how it will be spent. And also, there, there was no stakeout after yesterday, the, 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 at least that I'm aware of, the sexual abuse in peacekeeping one. So I wanted to ask, and I'm sorry, I don't mean it to be any disrespectful, but given that another part of the UN system is actually maybe part of, of either violence against women or a failure to hold people and perpetrators accountable, do the, does the, either the EU have any thoughts on how the UN could, could address that? I know that there was a meeting, but at the same time, Code Blue issued a report saying that victims aren't being, aren't being interviewed, that are, that are dug up. How are these two initiatives, you know, sort of synthesized in terms of the UN's desire to reach these goals? Thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, European Union and United Nations, uh, we are partner in this overall initiative. Uh, and this partnership means that we shall run together also the, 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 the operational board, strategic board and operational board that would, uh, that would uh, design the, the, the programs, the projects that would address the issues of violence against women and girls. Uh, programs would be specific, country specific and region specific program, which means that we would like to target the, the, the highest level, legislative le level, regulatory level, but also the mindsets of, uh, in the communities, in the, in the families uh, as well. Uh, we are partners in this, in this endeavor, but not exclusive partners. We would like to, to also to bring all the potential uh, partners on board in the implementation, in the design of, of the programs, and in the financing of, of, of this uh, uh, initiative. This means that the programs will be implemented by the, mostly, in, in, in a large extent, uh, by the UN agencies, but also there will be a participation in the implementation by the civil society organizations uh, with their expertise, with their uh, field experience, and with their, in, and with their input into, into, into terms of reference uh, design for, the, uh, for these uh, uh, projects. So this is an, 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 an common endeavor where we don't look so much at the number of zeros behind the five at the beginning uh, of, of this figure. This is all about, this initiative is about only one zero, the zero violence. This is what we would like to achieve. And the zero has never been a bigger figure than today. Yeah. We all agreed, you saw the, 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 the atmosphere, the, the, the enthusiasm, the passion in the, in, the, in the chamber, because zero violence is what we would like to, have, to achieve by, by, our, uh, by our Spotlight Initiative. Let me say something about the UN. First of all, it's a crime in a different space. Whatever it is, it's a crime, whether it's SEA, or it is this initiative, it's us trying to address the crime. And I think that here, what the United Nations has done is produced an initiative. Um, and we are hearing and we're listening, and that's the whole reason why we have a special victims advocate who is there taking that on. And what we have to do is put a spotlight on that as well. So the initiative of putting a spotlight is not just for the countries that we want to go to, but on any area that the UN and the EU would work together. Identifying the projects is not going to be a prescription. It's going to be a process that involves stakeholders, particularly at the country level, because this is where it is happening, not happening in New York. And I think that here, um, we are trying to bring all sides of it to the fore um, and just put the spotlight on it and deal with it. And we've had some resources to start. Um, what you hear coming from the Secretary General and his initiative is opening the door to trying to get that right. And what happens when you do that, you give opportunities for voices to be heard. And where they were not heard before, now they're coming out of the woodwork, and we have to address that. So it's a good thing that we're hearing this, but it's not a good thing to say that we're doing nothing about it. The whole point of SCA, the special victims the advocate, and the work that we will do together with the EU is beginning to walk that talk. Thank you so much, Madam Deputy Secretary, and thank you so much, Commissioner. The passion really was absolutely palpable. <laughs>